All right, uh, so welcome back to Really Dicey. Uh, we're just going to talk quickly about the two Titans, because uh, my brother and I each built a version of these decks to because we had never tried them before. Um, so we're going to talk about Trypticon, the uh, Decepticon Titan who came with uh, the the new wave, Siege, Siege 2, Wave 4. Uh, if you bought a booster box, you got Trypticon and the three, his three uh, minions. Uh, the only thing that we had prior to that was Metroplex coming in the starter set. Uh, Metroplex with his little arsenal of guys here. Um, decided to try to dig into Metroplex a little more. Seen him in action. Uh, was trying to get a little bit more of a baseline for how Trypticon would work based on Metroplex, but they are two very unique and very distinct builds. Yeah, so with Metroplex, how you get your minions out on the board is you have to flip him. Um, so when you flip uh, Metroplex back to his base mode, you get to launch one of the little guys. So he's really about flipping back and forth. Um, and then his other ability is to tap down the board, um, which is, you can talk about more, is key to a Metroplex deck. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, if you can't tap down your opponent's board to try and only be attacked back one time, it's extremely frustrating. <laughs> it's no fun to play. And... I had a turn where I flipped nine cards, and I didn't pop Metroplex's ability, and I was ready to quit and just never play Metroplex ever again <laughs> a day in my life. Um, the other big opportunity to get used to is he has so much health, is that it really feels foreign when he's taking damage early on. You can't let that discourage you, so if you haven't tried Metroplex, um, you really have to get used to being able to absorb that kind of damage and not that it throw you off your game as you're still trying to progress through the game flow uh dispensing those little guys out to the battlefield and just using them for for all that they're worth yeah so that that one game that you had that we played you you had a horrible metroplex game and i kind of wiped the table with you um, but the next game that you played, you wiped the table with me because almost every time you attacked with Metroplex in his uh, bot mode, you tapped me down and you got all three of your little guys out and they were all still alive when you killed me. It was terrible. I hated it. So, I mean, I think you need to play Metroplex until you get to experience something like that just so you can see what his... Uh, the ups and the downs of playing Metroplex are. So I think the same can be said with Trypticon. His, his ability is unique where you have to have one of these basically uh, yeah, so Battlefield Incursion cards to launch send or one launch of one of the little guys, yeah. his minions, out to the battlefield. So and without that card, you're really just standing there alone, Trypticon <laughs> by himself, just yeah. out there... On an island. So I built a deck not knowing anything, how it was going to work, whatever. I had ideas about what I wanted it to do. Um, but in the end, not having that, you know, if I didn't start with, I think the first game we played, all three of these little green cards were down in the bottom 12 cards of the deck. So I just stood there and took a bunch of damage the whole game. Um, so yeah. It really needs some card draw to make sure you, you, you're you seeing a lot, or some bold, or some tough, or maybe some both. Not quite sure yet. Gonna dig into it some more. But you definitely have to see those green cards to pick them up, to launch the little guys. Um, and then you also, Trypticon is 24 stars, so you get one star card. He's got a specific star card that lets you, uh, called Relentless Invasion. Um, it's kind of like a, uh, I still function in a way. Um, if you have Trypticon on the battlefield, 
you can pull full tilt, wipe out, and brunt from your KO area onto the battlefield, fully repaired. Um, then they attack, and at the end of turn, you put them back under Trypticon to be launched again, possibly. Um, that card is, there's only one in the deck. It's a triple pip, but you got to draw it. Um, there's no real way to fish for it, I don't think. Uh, I think the only way to fish for it is if you have something equipped onto Trypticon to pick up a star card. So unless you're playing Ancient Wisdoms and Unleashed Potentials, or you're playing that new double pip black card, I believe it is a... Uh, valuable, valuable contract. I did have those in the deck at one point. Um, so if you KO somebody, um, it will let you go fish for a star card and put it in your hand. So the idea behind having the valuable contract on Trypticon is hopefully you can knock somebody out, hopefully a little guy early in the game, get that relentless invasion into your hand, um, and hopefully you've already got some, some of the green cards to have launched some guys and done some damage. Um, so the other interesting thing about Trypticon is when you uh, flip back to his Tyrannosaurus mode, you can KO one of the little guys to get them off the board, which what? would trigger their revenge abilities. Um, so revenge was a new thing that, you know, when they die, something bad happens to the other person. Uh, scrap an enemy weapon or armor, draw cards, uh, do one damage. And if you're able to flip these guys um, full tilt or wipe out, it's draw two cards or do two damage as their revenge. Um, so you can KO them. You can either heal three off a of Trypticon or get three more attack by KOing these guys. And then launching them again and relentless invasioning. And I mean, I think that's the, the spiel there. Um, but you definitely have to get those cards in your hand somehow. And I'm not... Need to do some more building, but very interesting. And like you said, it's hard to get used to taking all that damage on one character. Because 30 health on one character is weird to get used to. <laughs> Alright, so I hope this was helpful. Uh, let us know if you've got any other tips for us uh, down in the comments. And we'll see you next time.